With only three months remaining for the Building Bridges Initiative team to submit its comprehensive advice on, among others, plans to end hostilities among Kenyans after every general election. ANC leader Musaliam Davari has faulted the designers of the initiative for making it look like a two-man affair. Speaking after attending a church service at the Lord's Grace Center, Outering Road, Mdavari said the initiative should be all-inclusive. BBI, the Building Bridges Initiative, um, or, 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 or the handshake, its success lies in a situation where it is not seen to be an initiative of two people. It has to be broadened up and made more inclusive. The ANC leader is further rooting for a parliamentary system of governance with a powerful prime minister if the country embarks on the proposed referendum. If you look at the, the, the Bomas draft that I'm talking about, there was a strong bias to a parliamentary system and there was a broader... Uh, um, structure of government, including the position of a prime minister, who would then be accountable to uh, parliament. Mudavadi, in the meanwhile, called for caution on the proposal to arm private guards in the wake of terror activities, saying the idea should be backed by a legal framework. We have also seen that sometimes when the private security guards are recruited, uh, they, some of them don't go any through serious training. Okay, so you must be very careful when you say you want to hand over weapons uh, to, to some of these uh, individuals. Naimiza wa Kristo wao wakiomba na kuomba taifa kuomba wanajeshi na kuwarahisi kupeana habari za kuokoa za kuweza kusababisha janga lisitokee Samson Kitavi Channel 1 News